Are you okay? <laughs> oh, baby! Screw that! Ladies and gentlemen and non-binary individuals, this is the last video that I will be making on my channel. What is the question mark? What is that? 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 What is up everybody? Once again, it is time for another real or fake anime and this video's edition is food slash cooking And once again to join me is my friend Dominic Ding 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 Colleen add anime Add anime vibes to it One of my favorite foods that I remember watching growing up was the little rice cakes that were always in Pokemon Oh yeah, the onigiri And then in the American dub they just put like a cheeseburger over it For real? I think so or like no. or something. We on Twitter asked you all to submit prompts to either real anime that existed using hashtag TS real anime or plots to anime that you just made up using hashtag TS fake anime. And now it is my job to determine which is which. And of course, for this particular video, there are going to be rewards and punishments. For every prompt that I correctly guess, I get to taste a delicious dish of Asian cuisine brought over by my friend and producer, Quill. But for every prompt that I incorrectly guess, I must try something very spicy. And in case anyone out there is not aware, I am very white. Very so, white. <laughs> thank you. You didn't have to agree with me. <laughs> That's enough explanation. Without further ado, let's begin. <laughs> Guy causes chaos at cooking school by making orgasm-worthy delicious food and obsessing over the umami of his dishes. The only part of that prompt that stuck out to me that matters at all was orgasm causing food because of the one memory I have watching this anime and this was Food Wars. So it is real. This is a real anime. This is Food Wars. <laughs> I didn't need any other bit of that information. It was just that. It scarred me, Joan and Talon, when we watched it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> no one has nipples. <laughs> What's happening? And your first reward is edamame. Oh, this is my favorite. Mm, these are so fun to have before a meal. You have a little bit of these and you're like, I've had my veggies, now I can go to town on some ramen, guilt free. A chef who stumbles upon a kitchen in which the food comes to life and gives him valuable life lessons, but only if he makes them into delicious meals. <laughs> if you cook us in a stew, we will give you tips on how to formulate your 401k. This one sounds very Beauty and the Beast-ish, but I like the premise. I'm going to say, it's fake. This is a fake anime bro. Yes! If the previous one was my appetizer, what would this one be? This is a soup. Oh, yes! Miso soup. Woo! Oh my gosh, and it's warm. I'm very excited Honestly, about today. Honestly, nothing gets me more ready for a meal than a little cup of miso soup. A little miso soup. This is actually right on there with chicken noodle for me. Man gets pulled into fantasy world against his will, and instead of exploring or trying to get back home, he spends his days feeding a monster dog and slime for the rest of his life. Now, we all know the trope of being pulled into fantasy worlds. I myself am a sucker for it. I love it. It is a very narrow premise, but I do think with the existence of those two very specific characters mentioned, it gives me enough reason to say that this is actually real. So I'm gonna say this is real. You have been playing this game because this is real. <gasps> ah, yes! This is yes! campfire cooking in another world with my absurd skill. Your next course is... Oh, yes! Yoza! Ooh, I'm so excited! These genuinely are some of my favorite things. I actually have a story highlight on my Instagram of every time I eat gyoza. I do gyoza time. You do gyoza time! Yeah. That is so good. Wait, I have to do my gyoza time. <laughs> <laughs> this one really does the ratatouille for me. The best food anime of all, yeah. ratatouille. Is ratatouille a food anime or a mech anime? <laughs> I don't know. A knight and his D&D party fight and eat their way through monsters by turning them into meals in order to reach a dragon that has eaten his sister and rescue her before she's digested. Okay, so I'm going to go out on a limb and name this as the one other anime that I know is out there. People are talking about it and you did mention D&D. I'm thinking that this one is Delicious Dungeon. This is delicious in dungeon. They turn the monsters into food, is what they do. So That's every, really I'm clever. I'm watching this one right now. It's great. I think you would love it. Yes. Every episode, you know, they fight a different monster and then they try to figure out what meal they could cook it into. Oh, yes. Your next course is. These are my favorite. Rangoon. This is what you get late at night after the club. 
If you haven't had Rangoon in your life, you're very much missing out. Did we get more than just three? Yep. <gasps> and this is payback for the freaking fruit <laughs> video. <laughs> it's so bad. It's so bad. Wow, we're on question five. Can I do five for five? While cooking, a witch in training accidentally spills a potion into her food. The food becomes sentient, and it turns out that the potion was a familiar summoning spell. So the food creature is now her familiar. That's awesome. It sounds like a really great premise for the story. It almost gives me um Kiki's delivery service vibes to it. So that gives me some reason to believe that this would be real. So I'm gonna say real. This is a fake anime. It's fake? Yeah. Die, you gave me so much of a pause. I was like, <laughs> nah. Dramatic pause. We are now on to my first punishment. 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 What? <laughs> That's amazing. Hello, Thomas. I would like to play a game. <laughs> <laughs> Before you is a wasabi clock. As the time progresses, the, uh, what was it? <laughs> so you've missed the smaller wasabi. <laughs> you are now on wasabi number five. So does that mean that he missed out on a previous round? <gasps> no! We should also no. which round. No! Okay. Did I miss out? Yes. I missed a dish! Oh no! What did I miss? Spring rolls! Oh no! The spring rolls! That's, that is a, you know what? It that looks. Is a glob. It looked smaller on the plate. <laughs> I'm very nervous. Here we go. I shouldn't have been chewing. <laughs> oh, baby! It really punches you on the underside of your nose. Oh! Oh! I'm excited. That was great. Yeah. I'm impressed. It only gets worse from there. It only gets worse from there. I can't mess up because I can't do those bigger ones. I can't do it. A young man who strives to become a hero of justice ends up serving delicious food for his family and heroes from the past instead. <gasps> Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. He's at a restaurant serving his ancestors? This sounds really fun and I want it to be real. So I'm gonna say real. This is real. Yes! What is this called? Today's menu with the Emiya family. Oh my gosh. Your next dish is, and I hope I'm pronouncing this right because my Vietnamese isn't too good. Bo Kion. Ooh. Uh, this is exciting. Oh wow. The beef is really hitting. Mm. It's so good. It's somehow very filling and also fresh. That is so true. Filling and fresh. A traveling soul is roped into being someone's private chef in this fantasy wonderland where you have to fight your food first before being able to eat it. The pay is good, the stakes are high, and the prince is hungry. Oh no. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I could go either way with this one. The food comes to life and you have to fight it before you can eat it? Yeah. So basically the life of the old time hunters. <laughs> The last line, the prince is hungry. It's so vague and it's so out of left field. It doesn't feel like that would be a, a thing that somebody would write on a fake prompt. So for those reasons, I'm saying this one's real. This person has been watching the series because this is fake. Oh, uh, what? Yep. This one's fake? Yep. Oh no. <laughs> what did I miss out on? Let's announce that one first. Tofu katsu. No! Oh no! No! Tofu katsu! That's worse than the wasabi! Missing this food! Oh man. Dag nabbit. <sighs> what else can be said? Oh gosh. Is it better the second time? That's what she said. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> oh no. Ooh, baby! That was terrible. <laughs> that was terrible! Are you ready for your next problem? I am so ready, it's not even funny! A young man joins a culinary school that's supposed to be all girls, but there was an error in his application. All the girls want him gone, but he makes it his goal to win them over through his amazing cooking skills. Oh, classic. Enters a school that's all girls, he's the only boy. That's a classic premise, and nobody's gonna do anything about it. And I also like the idea of winning people over through cooking. Feels like a comedy-based one, and I know I fell for something that felt very real last time. I'm gonna trust my gut on this one, even though my gut is a little upset right now. I think this is real. This is fake. No, come on! <laughs> I'm so mad! 
be. <laughs> Producer, can you announce what food he was missing on this one? Abadashi tofu. Oh, I don't know that one. Okay, that doesn't. <laughs> at least it's a food. At I least know. it's a food. I don't know what I'm missing out on. But oh my gosh, my mouth can't take the wasabi. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> These eyes have seen the devil, and the devil has green eyes. Big. Green eyes. It keeps getting bigger. And I feel like it's going to only increase in size in my dreams. Years from now, I will look back on this day and say, he lived. At least, I can hope I can see that day. But until then, me and the devil shake hands. It should be comforting now, right? Oh. It's a familiar experience. <laughs> Ow! Oh! That was a... Perfect Michael Jackson impersonation. Didn't know it took this to, to get there. A spy is sent undercover in the kitchen of a top restaurant. Yes. Instead of collecting the information they were supposed to, they discover their love of cooking and getting invested in workplace gossip. It feels real, but the other two felt real. I am sticking to my guns, and I'm going to say that this is real. No! I'm sorry. Oh. No! Don't tell me this! Don't tell me this! Don't! Don't tell me this! Don't! Don't! Dominic, don't! <laughs> don't! Don't you dare! Oh, this is a big problem. Ladies and gentlemen and non-binary individuals, this is the last video that I will be making on my channel. I'm about to lose my guys. <laughs> what did I miss yeah, out on? what was the next food? Malaysian chicken satay. That sounds so good! I want that! Look at that! <laughs> I had to eat that! <laughs> what? My body will be a war zone tomorrow. <laughs> Alright, here we go. We said we'd do this and we're gonna do it for real. <laughs> Alright, you guys are too good. Oh, it's so big. It's so big. <laughs> uh, uh. Get your drink. Get your drink. <sighs> Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I can't feel anything anymore. I've lost the ability to love. Oh my gosh, I am looking down the timelines of my ancestors and they're going, what are you doing? Turn back. Every Saturday, doors to a restaurant in Tokyo appear throughout a world of fantasy. It mainly focuses on some of these weekly regulars. A demon who works part-time as a waitress and their experiences with the place and its cuisine. What? Once again, I am very stumped. Do I continue with my dream that <laughs> we're going to hit another real anime? Or do I turn now? Do I turn away now and choose fake? I wanna say the demon that works as a waitress feels a little generic. They only focus on one character. Part of me thinks that this it would be very easy to write a prompt like this, but it's also very inverse logic to have it be a fantasy world that enters into the real world as opposed to the other way of like being sucked into a fantasy world. So that's new. All in all, I think I'm gonna go with the sunk cost fallacy and I'm gonna go with real. This is a real anime. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> this is Restaurant to Another World. I have never been more happy to get one of these right. I was staring down the barrel of that gigantic wad of wasabi and I escaped it. I escaped it. And now I get to eat something as well that's not wasabi. What is the food that we are eating? Green tea ice cream. Oh, we moved to dessert! <laughs> we did skip all the entrees! <laughs> You know what though? I looked over at it and I thought it was a gigantic thing of wasabi <laughs> and I had a little bit of heart attack. I am hopefully going to enjoy this. My throat is still a little bit of a dumpster fire. Sweet release. Oh my God. Yeah, that's really good. It reminds me of green tea Kit Kats. Oh, that is really good green tea. <laughs> yeah, right? People come to Izakaya Nobu to eat. However, the people have come from another world that looks like medieval Europe, while the owners are from modern day Japan. That's it? That's it, that's the problem. Izakaya? Izakaya is a style of Japanese restaurant. So somebody might have done their research. This really could be either one, and I've already done my sunk costs thing, so I, this it really, really could go either way. <sighs> do I go with my gut or do I go with my logic? My gut is telling me that despite its specificities. I think I'm gonna go with fake. 
What's the last food that Thomas could possibly have? Green tea. I'm sorry, but uh, you're not getting green tea. <laughs> this is a real anime. No! Isekai, Isekaya, Japanese food from another world. There is good news. The last thing that you have to consume is not wasabi. What? What? What is it? Is it the question mark that was on the plate? It is the question mark. It was the question mark on the plate? <gasps> what is the question mark? What is it? What is it? What is that? <laughs> what is that? This is a scary Korean hot sauce I bought in Taiwan. It is incredibly spicy. I'm going to give you three drops of it on one cracker. That's it? Three? Uh -huh. That's it. Thomas, so would you like me to do one of these with you? Y Yes. You want me to do one with you? <gasps> yes. Do not, whatever you do, do not touch your eyes <gasps> after you touch this. Wash okay. your hands first. Okay. Thank you so much, Dominic. Thank you, Quill, for providing all of the meals. Thank you to all of you for providing all of those prompts. If you thought any of the food looked interesting, uh, those are from Chopsticks Cafe and Ichiban Sushi here in Gainesville. If there are any other food slash cooking related anime that we didn't mention in today's video, be sure to comment them down below because I would love to check all of these out. It's so fun. And as we always say, there are so many animes. So many animes. So many animes. Ready? Cheers. Mm. <coughs> Yo, I'm getting it. This tastes like a dentist's office. <laughs> it's, 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 I don't have a tongue anymore. What the heck? It's, it's, <laughs> it has a lot of nice flavor behind it, though. Mm -hmm. I see why you use it for soup. It's great. Screw that! Ow! <laughs> the more air you get on it, the worse it gets. Ow! Oh my god! Oh, it gets worse. It gets worse! <laughs> it does get worse. It's getting worse! Okay, thank you for watching this video, guys. I cannot talk. If you're interested in any of our <laughs> If you're interested in any of our previous videos, you can click over here. Or if you're new to the channel and would like to subscribe, click down here. That is it. <laughs> and until next time, take it easy, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. Peace, Peace out! out. Ha! <laughs> oh my oh, gosh. Get in, get in, get in. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. Oh, please, please. That was terrible. Thomas, we have so much wasabi left over. Do you want to keep it? No, no. Absolutely burn that in the fires of Mordor. <laughs> <laughs>